Solutions. You are watching a Rudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. This channel provides basics of finite element analysis and computer-aided mechanical engineering design and analysis using CAD-related software. Let's get started. Friends, today we'll show a cylinder piston mechanism. It will be consisting of a cylinder, a piston, a crankshaft, a connecting rod, a pin, and two bases, right? Modeling part is not required actually. Modeling is already done using PTC Creo. Now, our task will be to assemble these parts and finally after assembly we'll go for mechanism analysis and this craft testing and other things will be done, right? Okay, let's get started. We'll start from new button and as uh, modeling part is complete, so we'll start from assembly itself and default template should be unchecked. We we'll start from millimeter newton second assembly design. Okay. Okay, right. So we we'll start from assembly. Assemble. Uh, it was saved in the desktop by the name of folder Creo 5. We'll open it first of all. We have to open the base part. Open it. This is the base. Now this one will be fixed at default position. So from automatic default fix it first part is done now another set of this base plate is equal to hold the crankshaft so bring the another part of this base plate again okay while dragging it so assemble assemble we'll take the same part same part again we'll take the same part again now for this assembly we have to consider three different constraints first constraint will be the access of these two Base plate will be equal, will concentric. The axis of these two base plate will be concentric. The bottom face will be also concentric, and ends of these two uh, objects will be having some distance away, right? Okay. So we're starting from the axis. This axis and this axis don't be coincident, there some distance away it will be right. First one strain is done, then the base plate. The bottom part. Or both of them will be the same then and the axis should be some distance away their axis let's take this axis and this axis will be some distance away it is not coincident distance let's take the distance 120 mm. uh, let's put this on back side so minus 120 okay done right two objects we have assembled. Now next part is inside these two holes you have to insert the crankshaft. Assemble again. Crankshaft. Open. Okay. Now we can rotate a little bit and bring this one close to the objects. Right. Here we can see this one should be connected with this one with pin joint. So for user define this way pin joint. This part and that part should be joined together. We can drag it little bit front side. Now the surfaces. The front surface of this one should be connected with this surface. Done. Complete. Right. Let's see the field view. Okay. Done. Now we can check whether it is okay or not. How to check this one? We drag the component. See? It is rotating, so it's complete done. Close it now. We can provide some colors to these components, right? Let's provide some colors. Base part, maybe it is okay. We'll change that connecting this crankshaft one. We'll change the crankshaft part, let the crankshaft part be this one. Okay, crankshaft different color provided, right? Okay, fine. Next one, after that uh, crankshaft we have to connect the connecting rod. See, actually connecting rod should not be like that. It should be something, it will be segmented portion. It should be connected with some uh, bolts. But here, our task is something else. Our task, we are not bothered about this kind of drawing or uh, complete modeling of the trunk. We are not bothered about modeling of the crank rod. We want to show the mechanism analysis only, the mechanism how the object will run, how the how the assembly will run, that one we are bothered about. So we have made the crankshaft as a single component only, right? Okay. We'll assemble it. 
now connecting rod is required connecting rod will take it you see we have made this one single piece only right but this should not be it should be some segmented portion will be there and it should be connected by some bolts okay now you can see clearly uh, this should be joined by pin joint so from user defined we will select pin joint select this one this one so constraint is it is not fully constrained and again central planes are equal central planes we have to match together right you can drag it a little bit this side or from any side of spins central plane of this one should be mating with the central plane of the connecting rod which is the central plane that is check yeah this one which one should be coincident see the yeah, color changing is assembly is done fine this is done now this part also can change the color Okay. Yes, okay. No, I'm not changing color. Two. Okay, let's provide some color to this one. Uh, let's provide this color to that one. Or oh, this color. That is different. And these two can find a little bit different in bases. So the bases and color should be a little bit of dark, a little better one. And this, some, we can provide some different thing like appearance. You can change a little bit more appearance. We can make a little bit transparent. So the reflection should be there also, and intensity a little bit high, and ambient also. Okay, close it. Then, okay. And then means it will show how the connecting rod and crank shafts are connected together. And in between, okay, this one should be also a little bit of transparent should be. This one should be a little bit transparent, right? Okay. So select that connecting rod. We have to make this one a little bit of transparent. Transparency means it will show that inner or the meeting parts in better way, right? Next part, we have to fit the piston number and it should be connected the pin. Now we can see clearly that this piston and the pin should be connected through the these holes for better understanding of assembly, we can rotate a little bit these two holes together. Feed view, okay. Now, these two shall be connected with pin joint. Select pin, this one, this one, pin connection. Next part, it will be the axis, right. The mid plane of that one should be meeting with the mid plane of the piston. Complete. Okay. Right? This is complete. Next part, we can put some color to this part. Appearance. Color. Okay. Yeah, this color is good. Now, we have to insert the pin over here, right? Let's take the pin from assembly. Pin, okay. Okay, you can drag it towards the location where, where it should be inserted. 
then drag it for better understanding okay okay now it looks that this needs to be rotated okay. this pin will go inside this connecting rod and piston we require pin joint user defined by selecting pin joint now this surface this surface and this curved surface should be meeting right okay next part we can drag it a little bit outside next part we can see that mid plane of this one should be connected with the mid plane of the piston or this connecting rod right so the mid plane here also mid plane is there mid plane of this piston will be coincident connecting definition is complete so it's complete done Can provide some color to this one again. Let's provide some color. Red color is provided. There is not good one. Let's provide some dark color. Let's take the cylinder. Okay. Let's rotate it a little bit. Our plan is to put the cylinder horizontally. Inside this one, the piston will be moving to and fro. Right? It will like that only. So for that, these two should be also connected in the same plane. It will be concentric also, right? Okay. Now, first part is we have to connect these two uh, with cylinder connection. Cylinder. This one should be connected with the Cylinder. Okay. First constraint is filled up. So we can rotate a little bit this side, inside or outside. Okay. Okay. Now two more things are required. That means this cylinder should be fixed at this position. That means from vertical, also from base surface, some distance away, and from this surface also some distance away. There. We need some constraint or placements. Placements. New set. Where to fix this one as a general one and but to fix a distance between this them first the distance from here to the base plate ready let's take the distance equal to 120 degree let's see why it is going 120 is very high let's take it a little bit less maybe 90 milli Ultimately, it is completely accommodating. Okay, not complete. Another constraint is required. That means some from the base surface, it will be some height away, right? Again, new set is required. It will be general. So we have to fix the distance. This one should be fixed some distance away on the base plate, right? So. This one and this one should be having some distance. Instead of coincident, we can make some distance. Maybe we can take 30 minutes. Let's see where it is going. Is it okay or not? Then move a little bit high, like 15 minutes, suppose. Okay, done. Think both are in the same plane, right? Okay, that is adjustable. That is not an issue at all. Okay, okay. Now, what we'll do is we'll, we'll all these axes and planes will remove it. I'll select this. Okay, let's see. It is running properly or not by dragging. You can see. Okay, fine. It's moving. Okay, now one thing we can do here the thing is. Uh, this cylinder part we can make it a little bit of transparent. It will show perfectly. Again, cylinder can move a little distance away inside. How to do it? We'll take the cylinder part, any definition. The distance was 90, we'll make it a little bit less. Maybe we'll make it 70. And it will regenerate it, it will go inside. Okay. 
Next part, we have to make this one a little bit of transparent. From appearance, we we'll make this one white color. Okay, now we will make this one transparent. So more appearance will make it transparent. It will be shine also. Intensity also a little high. Close it. Okay. Done. It's transparent. So inside this one, this one will be rotating, right? You can see if you drag it, see how it is working. It will sit again, put it horizontally. We will put this one horizontally from front plane. You see this one, okay? Now, by dragging, okay, it's fine. Okay, close it. All the colors are appearing same. A little bit changes will be better one. Let's put this one a little black one. This two. Okay, a little black. Is it okay? No, before it was a better one. We'll make this one a little bit transparent, that will be better. Close. Okay. Assembly part is complete. Now we have to run this mechanism, right? So how to run this one? First of all, we'll save this part. Save this assembly in the name of assembly three. Next part, we have to run this mechanism. For running this mechanism, uh, we have to start from analysis, applications, then mechanism. From mechanism, we have to, first of all, we have to apply the servo logo at this location, right? So we are dragging the servo motion, but taking the servo motor from here and references, right? References at which location we have to put it. References and position. Position it will be if we want to make check the velocity one, what velocity to this one? Angular velocity one. Unit is made of a second, but we want the unit to be degrees per second. So select that location. Now see the unit of velocity change degrees per second. Now how much will be the velocity that we provided from profile details? You can see here and the velocity will be degree per second and the velocity let's take this one equal to 60 degree per second. Okay, done. Next part we to go for mechanism analysis. And the name of this is coming as analysis definition one, right? And we want to go for this dynamic analysis, right? And while going for dynamic analysis, duration of this uh, mechanism, we want to take as suppose 60 seconds, or we can go for 30 seconds. 30 seconds it will run, and we want to check external loads, it will be Enable all friction and enable gravity. Then we have to run this mechanism. Run this mechanism. It is running very nicely. You can see it is transparent, it is seen perfectly. Done. So close it. Now, what we want to do is, 
uh, after mechanism running, we have to make a film or video of this mechanism running. That can be done from playback. Running the playback. Here, the frame rate we can make it more. At the same time, we can make the speed also more. And let's see how it is running. Running very nicely, smoothly it is running. stop it then capture while capturing video the different formats are available here it is mp format is there also avi format is there. we'll take avi format and here width is 1640 by 299 we can change it as per all requirement and frame rate is 25 frames per second we can make it 30 frames per second also right that will be better more the frame rate is better will be the drawing better will be the movies Take 30 frames per second. Okay. So movie is being generated right now. After the movie is finished, we will go for analysis. In analysis, we can find out uh, velocity, acceleration of different parts or different positions. And we can plot it. At the same time, you can go for uh, curve tracing of any specific point. How the points are moving, that can be shown using a, a specific curve. Okay. Capture is done. That means movie is made of it. Right. Close it. Next, we have to go for analysis, right? That is coming for measurement. Feed view. You can move it a little bit this side because here we are to go on this study. Okay. Okay. Right. Now, for running this one, we have to start with measures. Analysis definition one was already done that we selected. That means what data we have provided based on that one, we have to get velocity and acceleration. This data is already generated. Now we want to get velocity at any specific location, right? Any specific location can make. So what we'll do is here measure velocity. We can put the name as velocity. And type will be replaced with velocity. And we want to look at that position where we'll find the velocity. Okay, which one maybe you will take the location at this point. Here it will be fixed because let's take this one. Okay. Velocity is showing eleven point four two six degrees per second. Again, at the same location, you have to find acceleration. So what to do is here, what name as acceleration. We have to find the name of acceleration. Now position should be replaced by acceleration. And we have to select that location. This is the location. Okay. You can see the acceleration is 7.6 degrees per second square. Okay. Now for plotting. If you want to plot velocity, select velocity and plot from here. See, this is the graph. Along x-axis, we are having time and along y-axis, we are having velocity. At different times, velocity is increasing, decreasing. Uh, so maybe this coming down to minus, minus 12 point something will be the minimum velocity. Maximum is 12. This is a sinusoidal curve. We got time versus velocity, right? If we save this one and we can export to Excel, a lot of data will be generated. That data we can compare for our analysis part. We can export it to Excel. Name is velocity time graph. Velocity versus time graph. Save this part. Next part, what we have to do is we have to get acceleration versus time graph of the specific location, what we have done. The data is being generated, that's why it's taking some time.
Okay, done. Next part is again we have to see acceleration. So plot it. This forwarding acceleration versus time dragger. Time graph along x axis we are having time and y axis we are having acceleration. Right? Okay. And we can see we have run this uh, mechanism up to 30 seconds. So it has given data up to 30 seconds only. Again, we can export it to Excel. By the name of acceleration versus time graph. Acceleration versus time graph, we are exciting. This data is being exported to Excel. Okay. And all will be saved in our folder, what we created before, and the next one by the name of Trail File. Okay. So another thing, if you want to plot both these acceleration velocity together, what to do? Control select both acceleration and velocity and then plot the graphs. It will show both velocity and acceleration, right? So in this way, you can have better kind of like uh, analysis to compare velocity and acceleration together. There is some kind of representation to representation to analyze velocity and acceleration together. Okay, we can send it again. File export to Excel. Can give the name as combined. Combine well and accession port. Okay, done. And another thing we can do. If you want to plot these two separately, so from here graph measures separately to both plot both separately. Here it is. So top one we are having, top one is acceleration versus time, and down one is velocity versus time. Right? Again, also we can save it and export to Excel by the name of separate graph. This data will be required for analysis. Now, finally, we have come to an end, and here we can do one thing we can do curve tracing part, right? So on a specific part, how it will move that can be done from, done from analysis here. Analysis, trace curve. Now, first of all, you have to select that definition one, analysis definition one, which one we have already done. Next one, we have to select the location, right? Why we want to find the tracing of the curve, that location you have to select. Because this is fixed, this is not moving, only the moving part is here, right? To select the moving part. Can select this position and preview. It is showing some curve. See, this is a path. So this path is following this type of curve. This is a path generated, right? This violet color it is showing the curve pressure. This is moving along this path. It is going up and down. After this one and coming down again, right? This is a path of the that location. So in this way, you can find any location and you can find the curve, right? Okay. So this is all about our. Uh, mechanism analysis of a similar piston arrangement. So, what do we learn here? We have learned here uh, assembly of these different parts, like these base plates were connected. In between the base plates, we have provided the crankshaft, and inside the crankshaft, we have provided the connecting rod. And then finally, the connecting rod is connected with the piston and pin. And at the last moment, uh, the piston is inserted by cylinder joined with the cylinder, right? It says inside, inside the cylinder. And while doing mechanism, we have given servo motor at this location with a speed of 60 degrees per second. And we have generated velocity and acceleration of this location, any specific location, right? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like, please subscribe and share. And if you have any kind of doubts, please write to me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you again.